Hello everyone, this is Anil K. Sharma. Welcome to my channel Oracle Tech India. In this video lecture, we will learn how details of a customer is submitted to the database server through form submission. When you go to Cyber Cafe, you often fill the form of government jobs. How your personal details in the government forms are submitted to the database server, we would actually come to know here in this video lecture. So before I start this video lecture, please subscribe my channel. Let's get started. This is the customer information online form. But first of all, let us understand the structure of the structure of a database server, how it works. This is the structure of a database server. Here on the left side, multiple users are there like user 1, user 2, user 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. All the users use the form like this. All the users use the form like this to store information regarding every customer. Then on the right hand side, database server is there. This is the database server. In between multiple users and database server, there is an application server. The work of this application server is to take the information coming from different users here and then to give the information to the database server. At the database server side or it is also called database backend side, PLSQL programs, PLSQL programs are created and saved in Oracle database server. Information, uh, the programs are created regarding information which you want to store. So this is the information which I want to store in Oracle database server. So here I want to save information of a customer and the fields are name street address city state zip code so here i have created a plsql program in which i have mentioned all the fields that i have told you in the previous slide so create table cus information this is the name of the file and name, street address, city, state, zip code, all these are the fields that I have used here in customer information online form. After executing this PLSQL program, a table like this is created and is stored in database server. So this table, this table is stored in this database server and this is the online form. Here you provide details of a customer in each 
field like name you provide name street address city state zip code and then when you click ok your information comes to the application server your information comes here in application server because user at his or her end fills the form of a customer and then press ok information comes here in application server this application server gives your information to the to the table customer information table and the information saved here in the form of rows and columns when the detail of one customer comes here in cust information table the information becomes one record when second time comes information of a customer and saved here the second time information becomes second record of this customer information table third time when information comes here in cust information table uh, the information becomes third record so so this is this is how the information is stored in the database server now let us understand some terms which are very frequently used in any database online form so the fields are the first uh, first term is fields so let us try to understand what are the fields used here in customer information online form so in this customer information online form name street address city state zip all these are called the fields so right here name street address city state zip all these are the fields name used here in customer information online form now the second term is records so what is the record it is a collection of it is a collection it is a collection of fields each field contains data in it so records 
name, street address, city, state, zip. All these are <coughs> collectively known as record. When you fill the form of this customer and press OK, your one record, your first record comes here in customer information table comes here customer information table when you click <clears throat> when you second time fill this form and click ok your second time information comes here and this is the second record when you third time fills this form and press OK, your third time information comes here in third row. So third row, fourth row, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth row. All these rows separately is known as first record, second record, third record, seventh record and eighth record so this is all about the record now <clears throat> database file what is database file database file it is a collection of related records when you fill the form of one customer and press OK, your one record is submitted here in table. Your one record submitted here in first row in customer information table. When you fill the form of one customer and press OK, second time second time your information comes here in second row of customer information table and third time comes third time information comes in third row fourth time information comes in fourth row and fifth sixth seventh and eighth time comes information and uh, and stores here in uh, here in seventh eighth uh, six seventh eighth rows so what we can notice here we can notice here that a table like customer information or any table in database contains multiple records so the first thing is what that any table in oracle database server any table in oracle database server contains multiple records multiple records and a database file a database file contains multiple tables like this. A table contains multiple records and a database file contains multiple tables like this. So, database file is what? It is a collection of related records. Like one table contains 
multiple records and in database server multiple tables can be there so multiple tables are there in the form of a database file so database file contains multiple tables and a table contains multiple records so this is all about how the details of a customer is stored in database server thank you thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel